Rip Pony, it is me, Elusive Al here, and welcome to another episodic reaction of My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale, MLP, TYT. This is uh, episode 58, and it's called uh, Sparkle School. Wait, they're actually going to Twilight's, Twilight School in Generation 4? Or have like have like bits that were like from that school. I don't know, but it says sparkle school, sparkle school, sparkle school, sparkle school, sparkle school. Try saying that five times as fast. Sparkle school. <laughs> Try saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, today I'm gonna be watching Sparkle School. And as I'm recording now, um, the next Make Your Mark special has already has already just been released um, on Netflix. So I will get all the tale, ta Tell Your Tale uh, episodes done. I've only got 58, 59 and 60 by the time of this recording. And yeah, I will uh, watch uh, the Make Your Mark special. So yeah. So, um, without any further ado then, this is uh, Sparkle School. And the first shot that I'm seeing already is of uh, Sparky. Um, hey, maybe Sparky might be going to school finally. He might be going to school. I mean, he's starting to be a grown-up. A grown baby dragon, so yeah, I mean Sparky might go to school, and I think Eva. Well, you'd think Hitch would uh, take him, but um, on the thumbnail, it has um, Misty and uh, Sunny. So I don't know, or maybe one of them could be uh, the teacher. To Sparky, who knows? All right, without any further ado, then every pony, let's get uh, fifty-eight underway. This is Sparkle's call. Let's get this started in three, two, one. Let's go with more volume. <laughs> Better. No, you haven't done <laughs> I've done it! I've done it! I've not won it! <laughs> Orange! Chippies! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yes, it has not She's trying to figure out what her cutie mark means. Oh, it caused a spark on her cutie mark. Oh, uh, okay, so this episode revolves on Misty and her cutie mark. So it's got to do with education, maybe? Never shine like that. What? Cherry has Misty. No, but it's okay. It probably just doesn't work like everybody else's because they got it so late. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too late to get your pretty mark magic going, Misty. Are they doing the the tango or something? <laughs> As, is he trying to explain Misty about her like, cutie mark? <laughs> this is new.
Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, they're looking more sparkly now. <laughs> oh my! Oh, oh my god! Oh no! Um, and now you're in some super spooky woods, all alone. Good one, Misty. Can't you do anything right now? There you are. Sunny? Well, what are you doing here? I was worried about you. I'm sure today wasn't easy. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I just don't belong here. You know, when Magic first returned and I became the Alicorn, I felt, well, a little lost. And because I was the only alicorn. Hey, there we go. Throwback. That sounds really hard. You must have felt so alone, Missy. I did feel alone at first. Then I learned that I'm only alone if I keep all my worries to myself. But if I share my worries with ponies who care, they will always be there for me. Kind of like how all you ponies were there for me today. Every pony tried so hard to get my cutie marks to sparkle. Exactly. Because that is what friends do. And you know what? Even if you didn't have a cutie mark at all, you would still belong here with us. Ponies stick together. Really? You mean that? Hook to heart? Hook to heart. And now it sparkles. <laughs> yeah, well done, mister. I'm trying to figure out um what it what it meant. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out from what it meant from that whole conversation. Um Okay, let's say, um, and you guys can help me in the comments as well. Because I'm thinking back to make your mark from the last previous chapter. And it has something to do with friendship, I believe. Because um, Misty did say with, um, on, was it episode four, I think? of chapter four um as she said as she was locked inside of her room and opaline had to go and get the dragon stone was that um that she had her own dialogue and then uh she's that she was uh ready to move that no no it was uh her um, the decisions that's been made wasn't her own. It was from, it was kind of by force. So she was ready to step up and uh, make her own decisions from there and um, move to something that she feels more suitable at. And um, that's being with her friends. Uh, I guess that's what I'm getting at from from that from that bit, from that whole conversation with Misty and uh, Sunny. Also, I, I love the uh, the backstory throughout Tell Your Tale that has happened throughout the past year. Um, you know, you had um, oh god. There's there's been a lot there's been a lot of episodes that are throwbacks. Um, yeah, a lot of episodes that were throwbacks. Like 
the episode where um, Sunny uh, saw her dad via the hologram and whatnot. Um, well, Sunny uh, adapting to her to her wings, um, and um, yeah, the, there's been a, there's been a lot, and I and I can remember most of them, but I can't remember the episodes because well, there's a whole lot of episodes, <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember all of those. I re well, I remember most of those. I remember most of those. Um, but yeah, it goes to show you, now that we're on nearly to episode 60, when we're coming to the near end of Tell Your Tale, we've come a long way. We've come a long way, folks, from starting out my episodes 1 to 4 reaction of uh, Tell Your Tale to get into... Um, uh, 58 of um, I'll Tell You a Tale so we have come a long long way a long long way so yeah um, I'm, tr I'm trying to find the episodes from those back stories although my Wi-Fi is giving me a little bit of um, of a hard time so yeah, I do apologise for that. Yeah, it's giving me a hard time. But yeah, um, really enjoyed that episode. And um, I thought it was going to involve around uh, Sparky. Because it said Sparkle School as the title. But no, it, it involved on um, Misty instead. But... It's good that we focused on this day because after the um, chapter four, I thought it, I thought this was this was gonna go on to the near end of of this series, you know, like you would have it. Uh, I don't know, sixty five or seventy, uh, but six, but not sixty, uh, fifty eight, but fifty eight to get her uh, cute mark fully acknowledged of what what it is um yeah i like it it was now or never you know um to to bring it up so yeah yeah pretty good pretty good i enjoyed that um yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love i love the i love the fact that we've um had different tries of um of Misty trying out different things that these ponies are adapted to. Like Izzy and her other crafts. Um, Pip and her... Um, and her glitter, you know, that um, Izzy introduced her on with, with, the, with the mud, mud, sp mud spa, you know. Um, um, zip and the uh, roller skates. Um, sunny and the sun Sundays. Um, but yeah, I was like, all of those isn't gonna work. She needs to find her own, and I'm thinking the other butterfly, like. It, it, I, I was thinking it was somehow similar to what hitches with nature and talking with um, animals. But, yeah, that's not the case. A butterfly is like, is like freedom, I'm guessing. The butterfly, I'm going to take it for a bit of Attack on Titan reference here. Because their crest of Attack on Titan is called the Wings of Freedom. And for a butterfly from um, from Misty, it's a butterfly and it has wings. And um, she is free to do what she wants. So, yeah, I'm going to say the Q mark represents freedom for, um, for Misty. And I think um, with that, 
conversation with what with uh, what she had with Sunny, I think that fully explains what uh, that healing work means, you know. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> but yeah, guys, every pony. Uh, that is going to do it for my episode 58 reaction of My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale. And if you enjoyed my reaction to this one, then make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to my channel and want to check out more of my videos, then you can. Better than that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updating content where I upload my next video. Don't forget to check out all my socials. They'll be down below in the description. The original video will be down below in the description as well. And leave your comments on what you thought about this episode. And just before I go, I will leave you all with what Izzy Moonbo said at episode 10, I think, <laughs> of uh, Tell Your Tale. God, it's been so much now that it just it's just fading away in my head of of what the specific episode it was again. Uh, that I keep saying hey ho hey ho every time um, but it was sunny day dinners that is always kept in mind in my head it's always kept in mind in my head but in sunny day dinners she has said <clears throat> raise your hopes up high and bring together all pony kind hey ho hey ho Alright, see you everybody in the next one. Bye for now.